A very good morning. Hello and welcome. You're with CNN News 18. I'm Anusha Soni. Our top focus this hour is the exclusive bit of information that we get for you here on Network 18. The plan for Naya Kashmir, the central government is mulling to give back the statehood, a complete statehood to the present union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. इस बिल का जम्मू कश्मीर के स्टेट हुड से कोई लेन देन नहीं है उपयुक्त समय पर जम्मू कश्मीर को स्टेट हुड दिया जाए Well, this is the CNN News 18 mega exclusive ahead of the government's key all-party meeting with the JNK leaders on the 24th of June. We have accessed the blueprint for the future of Jammu and Kashmir. Almost two years after the abrogation of Article 370, the centre is all set to give full statehood back to Jammu and Kashmir. That's what we are hearing from our sources. The union government is clear on not giving special status. The situation or the arrangement that we had under Article 370, that is not coming back and that's a clear mind that the Union of India has expressed, which essentially means that there is no restoration of Article 370 legally. Sources have further told us that the official announcement is likely to happen once the Delimitation Commission submits it, uh, its report and most likely it also has to be tabled on the floor of the house there would be a proper legislation that will be formulated the naya jammu and kashmir blueprint after doing away with the special status article 370 which many said has uh, thwarted the integration of kashmir into india completely that is done away with what is the plan going ahead what is it that the central government is thinking we are getting you here the inside scoop Jammu and Kashmir to be given the full statehood very soon. A full statehood like a Gujarat or a Madhya Pradesh but not Article 370. There is no special status to be given to Jammu and Kashmir. That arrangement is not coming back. It's abundantly clear. Prime Minister to explain government plan to all the party. On the 24th of June, a very crucial meeting will be held with all the players, regional players in Jammu and Kashmir. Announcement after the delimitation exercise. Delimitation essentially means uh, carving out the number of uh, constituencies that exist. So that exercise is going to be very important. <coughs> what we are also hearing is that there is no geographical changes after delimitation that are unlikely to be brought in. Elections soon, Prime Minister to convey this to all the party because once the statehood is granted, it will be important to conduct elections. All parties to participate in the election process, that's the word. <coughs> and that will go from the union government. Now, uh, my colleague uh, is joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Mufti Isla is joining us live from Srinagar. I also have Tejinder uh, joining us from Jammu. Mus uh, Mufti, coming to you first, give us a sense about this exclusive bit of information that we are breaking for our viewers. Uh, what exactly is the sense you're picking up, especially from the regional parties? Are they likely to participate? Look, the regional parties are talking uh, since yesterday and they are actually parting, uh, talking whether they are going to participate in that meeting on 24th which Prime Minister has really uh, you know, invited them for. Now we saw hectic parlays yesterday, heads being rolled in that PDP meeting and then uh, there was a small briefing wherein it was decided that it is actually Gupta Alliance which will de decide and that meeting actually happens tomorrow, Tuesday is when they are going to give out a formal response to what the Prime Minister has said. Uh, but clearly you're talking about, you know, something which will in foreseeable future be given out to state of Jammu and Kashmir, the statehood. I think uh, the Gupta Alliance, which came into being on the fundamental principle of fight for restoration of Article 370, they are still pledging that. And in fact, we had yesterday independent conversations with these and they're saying that they're not going to move away from that because that remains their principal stand. So clearly they would also want rights uh, for, the, for the people in terms of jobs, in terms of land guarantees. And even if, you know, there's another name, let it not be Article 370. If there are these kind of guarantees, then perhaps they might agree. Uh, but at this juncture, Farooq Abdullah has said that he will still give it a shot and they're going to actually go in that meeting hmm. and perhaps air their grievances 
the Kashmir leaders had faced a lot of humiliation yeah. during the last two years. They had literally become irrelevant. Hmm. Now they're trying to stage a comeback. And, you know, for staging that comeback, Article 370 is extremely emotional issue for them uh, because this is how they're going to rally back if, you know, they want to contest uh, elections, say, for example, at the fall of this year. All right, uh, Mufti Isla getting us all the details on that very important story. Uh, my colleague Tejinder Singh Sodhi is also with us on the broadcast. Tejinder, taking in a word from you. While that might be the sentiment of the leaders from the valley um, about Article 370, many experts argue that one of the worst effects of Article 370 was on the region of Jammu. The union government was very, is very clear that Article 370 is not coming back. That's not on the table. Full statehood would be granted. What are the voices you're picking up? What are the reactions you're hearing? Uh, you, you rightly pointed out that people across Jammu, they were against Article 370 because Article 370 was mostly discriminatory in na nature with the people living in Jammu. You take the people from the West Pakistan called West Pakistan refugees. For 70 long years, these people, they were, uh, even though they were able to elect their member parliament, but they were not able to vote in the local panchayat, they were not able to uh, vote for a local councillor. So now, after the abrogation of uh, uh, Article 370, people like West Pakistan refugees uh, and uh, many such uh, 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 such sections of society living in Jammu, they, 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 they joined the mainstream. The, uh, the main concern right now in Jammu is the grant of, uh, uh, grant of uh, statehood to Jammu and Kashmir because people here, they are saying that political process should start, uh, they should have an elected representative. Uh, unlike, uh, uh, as my colleague from the Kashmir Valley, uh, Mufti yeah. Isla was saying that uh, the the mainstream political parties in Kashmir want the restoration of Article 370. There is no such voice of the restoration of Article 370 here in Jammu region. Mm. The people mm. in Jammu region, they want equal share in, in power because for the past 70 years, uh, there ha uh, the, uh, the, 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 the ruling dispensation in Jammu and Kashmir, the chief minister had always been from Kashmir Valley. Jammu always played a second fiddle. The politi politicians from Jammu, they always uh, played second fiddle to uh, the Kashmir Valley. So clearly, people in Jammu, they want empowerment. They want, mm. uh, yes, they want statehood. And yes, the people uh, in Jammu, they have a reservation. They want that uh, they should get, get certain guarantee from the government mm. that uh, uh, the, the, the jobs like uh, this happened in Ladakh also. The yeah. Ladakh government made it clear that uh, the, the government jobs in Ladakh would be reserved for the people in Ladakh. The, uh, the, the people in Jammu and Kashmir also want a similar guarantee so, from the uh, central government right. that uh, the, the government jobs should be reserved for the people uh, of the region. And uh, they, you know, they want this is one thing 